What's up folks, it's Christina Schipetta here with Pink Bike, and if you're like me, you're probably jonesing for a bike ride right about now. I'm gonna share a few reminders on how we can get out on the trails safely and respectfully so that all trail users can enjoy some space. Let's do this. First things first, follow your local health authorities' guidelines and recommendations. If you aren't meant to be riding, especially on specific trails and in certain areas like provincial parks and closed terrain, then don't. Pay it forward by respecting the guidelines now so that we can all play together again sooner than later. If you're able to ride from home, then it's a great way to stay extra physically distant. You're getting a couple extra kilometers in on the way to and from the trails. And most importantly, you're minimizing the risk to the other communities around you. So stay local, but still have some fun. We recommend riding solo or with members of your household. Stay connected. Sure, it's a bit odd because for years it was always ride with a buddy, but right now things are different. Let someone know where you're headed. Should something go wrong, search and rescue is the last resort and in many places they aren't offering the same assistance as before. So be prepared. If for some reason you find yourself out of cell service, Make sure to bring a Garmin in reach or a spot device or some way that you can contact people without cell reception. We don't recommend going to those places, but if you find yourself there, you would better be prepared. So if you do need to drive to your local trailhead, make sure you're driving alone in your own vehicle and you don't need to stop for gas or anything along the way. Respect all other trail users, riders in front of and behind you. Don't draft anyone. A person breathing heavily in front of you is similarly problematic to sharing a vehicle with that same person. Oh, oh. hey. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. You go first. No, no, I insist. After you. No, you go first. Nah, you go. I you don't go. know this trail very well. I think you should go first. You look pretty fast. Oh, ladies. Someone go already? Oh, I'll just go. Ladies first. Make sure to keep your snot rockets to a minimum on the trails. So use a tissue or handkerchief to catch those germs and then store them away in your pocket to be washed when you get home. When passing on trail, keep at least a two meter gap, which might mean stopping off trail and letting someone else pass. Bicycles should always yield to other trail users, so wait patiently, be kind, and say hello to your fellow trail users. Pick trails well within or even below your comfort level. You can practice mountain bike skills in a controlled environment such as the green or the blue trails of your riding zone or pick an empty parking lot. If you're feeling the urge to make it real spicy, why not try making a bucket list of the features and trails you want to challenge yourself with in the future? Play around with wheelies and corners, stop and session a little right and a left every now and again. Without the pressure of big daunting days on the bike, it's kind of nice to stop, slow down and enjoy the ride. Right now is a great time to pedal long and leisurely. Maybe plan out a big route around town or the trails and see how far the legs can go. Low risk and high mileage. If you're like me and you've been intaking more food and drinks than ever before, your body will appreciate a little fitness. Be careful not to ride too chill. This is a thing and this can lead to distractions on trail and hey, our bodies are just not reacting in time to the changing trail features. So ride slow, ride cautiously, but definitely don't ride too chill. Our bikes are set up to ride a certain way and style, so changing this up without changing your bike settings could prove to feel awkward. While we shouldn't be going full send and hitting the biggest gaps, it's important not to slow down too much. Don't forget to wash your bike, sanitize everything that's needed, and clean your gear, your kit, and hey, even your gloves. Thanks so much guys for joining my little cruisy trail session here in Whistler today. Soon enough, we'll definitely all be riding the trails together. Yo dude, how was your ride? Hey, it was so good, how are you? So good, soul shredding. Yeah, the dirt, phenomenal right now. Just yeah, you know what they say, rubber side down. Woo! Woo! What a day.